Subscribe, hit that bell icon and share this clip if you enjoy it. This is TRS Clips. The internet, especially now, doesn't understand the concept of grey and doesn't allow people to make mistakes. Yeah. The internet isn't ready to become accept. very sensitive about everything. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the given rise to cancel culture. By the way, you're Gen Z. Do you feel like that? I feel like I'm in every. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm, I'm a boomer sometimes. I'm like a millennial. Some I'm like I feel like I'm everything. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's... I hate cancel culture though. Have have you been cancelled in the past? Have I been cancelled? Am I cancelled right the now? Whole, I really hope not. The whole that was the, like I was cancelled. Cancelled? Matlab? I mean, I I I would probably not cancelled, cancelled. But <laughs> I didn't know if I was cancelled. No, That's there a was good this thing, probably. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tsunami of hate you yeah, got for that the comment. Yeah. Yeah. How do yeah. you feel about that? The the Rajiv Masan thing. Yeah. No. Of course. No. I feel like what I meant to say again. It comes from the whole thing about thinking five hundred things and not saying it the way that. Should probably have been said. If I had to go back and change it, I wouldn't have changed what I said, but the way I said what I meant to say. And it kind of was exactly the same thing as your first question, which was everyone has a different uh, hardship that they're dealing with every day. It, that's where it came from. That someone will always have it better. Someone will all always have it worse. Um, but I know about myself, and I know. what i want to be and uh, you know i don't want to ever disown where i come from mm. uh, you know i i think the perspective of the haters was uh, what i told you about money uh, especially when um, you're seeing someone from the film industry who speaks fluent english uh, say anything your assumption is that this person is rich grown up within mm. money and i mean grown up within riches and therefore has it easier than me uh, which might be true in some ways for sure uh, but they kind of hate on the fact that why does this person not have to worry about money right now when i have to worry about it that's i'm i'm giving you perspective from i get that, that. i get that and i completely yes. understand that and i understand why i could have sounded a certain way or come off but what i'm trying to say is that that what i my intent was to speak about how everyone you the, when you meet someone for the first time how can you uh, you know assume what their struggles have been or what their hardships have been or what they go through on a day to day basis and again someone will always have it better and someone will always have it worse mm. you know i'd gotten uh, hate for defending you really yeah oh, thanks i'd said the same thing sorry on... and thanks no no chill chill and and the only reason i defended you is not because i like you i mean i'm kidding uh, you are you're great <laughs> <laughs> really help no, no, myself no. doubt in no, this no, uh... no. Uh, the reason i defended you is because uh, i one i'm closer to your world because we've grown up in mumbai i'm even closer to your world because we both got the same privileged upbringing going to the school that we went to mm. and therefore i understood what yeah. you were saying so yeah. my family of doctors really comfortable life etc etc but my family built that life yeah. and i saw yeah. them going through that's why from, i want to take away from what i was trying to say is what my dad has built for himself in that way i don't want to take away from that and my life is very different from a uh, the life that he's lived in that sense and my parents have always protected me and as any parents would you know it's not just my parents because they're actors or they're a part of the film industry i think all parents want to shield their kids away from uh, maybe not all parents but most parents would like to shield their children away from the hardships of the world because they've worked up to the point to give their children you know and i will work up to a certain point to give my children uh, you know what um, I eventually woke up yeah. to build for myself in that way so i never want to be ashamed of the family that i come from or be ashamed of what my father has achieved in his life i want to use it in the right way i want to work 10 times harder every single day i want to be as honest and as sincere to my work as possible i've always wanted to be an actor and that's my passion and i don't want to take away from that core of what you know my job is and what i wanted to do every single day and i also want to use my voice in the right way i want to uh, leave an impact you know um, and i want to in my small way create some change so these are the things that i know and i'm aware of and that's all i can do and work can i give you some at. friendly advice yes. um just do your thing yeah. don't worry about the voices like from yeah i think it's it's any way for me started affecting me less so you're doing great um it doesn't matter what people think you keep doing your thing keep living out your career yes. and um uh if one thing i've learned from the process of aging is that people have a very negative relationship with aging they think they start looking worse etc etc aging is very beautiful in terms of things you learn the people you meet and the calm you gain as you yeah keep you know growing older yeah so it will keep affecting you lesser and lesser but at the same time with the maturity and experience you gain go even more aggressive on your craft um in terms of like you already have the tools you have the platform you've been in this industry for like 5 years 
do the shit that no one's expecting and uh, i would also go as far as saying i mean and it's coming from the perspective of what helped me in entrepreneurship whoever i wanted to become like i studied them inside out and uh, i would love to see you be another form of priyanka chopra what i would love more is for you to be the first ananya pande but build out your own thing yeah. but really go inside study akshay kumar's of the world priyanka chopra's of the world and let your work speak honestly yeah. um that's something i also like about alia you know uh, she's someone that i really look up to and because she went of through a, a parallel journey also i don't know if i call it parallel but of, of course there were some similarities in that sense which just specific to that trolling incident and all of that but i love the way she dealt with everything you know she uh, laughs she has the ability to kind of laugh at herself as well and be like okay i hear it but let me prove everything wrong with my work and i think she has done that and uh, she's i think very very honest and real and open uh, and she's that energy you know she's she's a she's a very um different unique energy and i, I i'm only saying this because i also just watched an interview of hers last night so i really felt that strongly that when you see someone being so unabashedly and so unafraid to be themselves and be so good at their work and just work hard mm. and just improve their craft and get better every time like that's inspiring but still have such a good and easy and comfortable personality an inclusive personality mm-hmm. that's what i want mm. you're happier than i expected you to be really yeah. well, do you yeah. think i'm going to be like uh. i i thought there's like more uh, there's more, more pain. pain inside you yeah not today <laughs> <laughs> not feeling and i'm like ha- feeling happy today mm. no i mean there is ob- the things hurt obviously but like i i'm actually the kind of person like depends on the day like some days i can be really bogged down and affected and some days i can be like extremely light hmm. man it was fun talking to you thank you it was Genuinely. really fun opening up yeah uh, i think people need to see a lot more of yeah. you and you know i should do this show like every 2 years and then <laughs> see how much like i've changed you can you can just uh, do the show every year and uh, then we can use you as a case study yeah. in growth yeah yeah Can we do that? <laughs> I'm I'm open to doing Let's it. Let's do it. It was genuinely good talking to you. Like I'm not just saying that because of the show. Like there was a lot of see the thing I said that I expected you to have more pain in you. Uh, that was an assumption I made about you. So I can't imagine the kind But of. But why would you think that was pain? Um, like was it like anger towards proving no. myself or what was it? Um, I I respect you a lot for starting the the page you started on Instagram and the movement mm-hmm. you started so positive. Yeah. I I had tremendous respect for you at the age you started it at which was 5 years ago 4 years ago 4 years ago yeah you were 20 or yeah. whatever yeah so I I was like yo this is a good 20 year old you know yeah. uh using the platform to That's what something. I meant by saying like I want to use it for the right things if I have this voice uh and if I can see people uh, you know looking up to me or trying to emulate me in a certain way I want to use it well Is it that much of a demon in your life that you're going forward and creating a whole organization to not just help fight your own demon but the demons that so many other kids are facing but it was actually never about myself and that's why i think i started it because yeah. i think it was all about kind of starting a conversation mm. for me because i felt like it was something that was prevalent with everyone not just actors but i felt like no one was talking about it mm. so for me where so positive stemmed from was conversation and calling it out but the things i discovered on the journey was how people can use social media in a good way i feel like we constantly keep focusing on the bad side but last year i did the segment with people who had used resources and their social media to help in the second wave of the pandemic and so many people relied on social media to kind of find ambulances and ox- oxygen cylinders and blood donors you know so for me that was another thing i not even tapped into or looked at that you can actually use it for good and now for me so positive has become so much more than that you know which we're developing a lot of stuff but it's about overall kindness and mm. overall empathy and bettering yourself and just being kind to everyone you come across it's become more that than just the online hate that i started with so mm-hmm. it's become more of a that, i mean that's that's what i respected at 20 and that's why i respect in the 23 <laughs> year old in you yes. but because of the podcast and meeting ceos and entrepreneurs we've had on the show one thing i figured is everyone first chases material success up to the point where they can create an impact so it's very cool that you're creating the impact early yeah and take that as far as you want to yeah, take it yeah it's about career. the impact for me when it mm. comes to causes that i i strongly believe mm. in What's your last message to people who hate on you and are waiting to type out a bad comment about you right now? Wait and watch. I'll make you a lover <laughs> soon. Ananya Pandey.
This looks good. Yeah, I You're feel good? calm again. Yeah, mm. no tears. No, no. I I genuinely like wish all the success to you, and I hope that uh, right behind us there's like an open sky. Which you're probably not able to see right now, but I hope that there's a big yellow cloud that forms in the sky. A yellow cloud. A yellow cloud. Okay. And then shoots out like glitter oh, and yellow nice. lightning at you oh my and God. sends you positive energy. <laughs> I hope. So. I hope <laughs> I can be that cloud. I I hope that um, you're the cloud for People. all of India. <laughs> oh, that's a like heavy. But I honestly think that you have one of the most comfortable and open personalities, and I think it's a it's very important. to be a good listener which i think you have and you're genuinely interested in people the genuine response to that thank you firstly the genuine response to that is uh, i'm a terrible listener and i say that for the podcast so you never listen if i talk to you outside you'll be like ha huh? i was just being polite outside oh, <laughs> very good actor then i must say yeah i think it's more of a harami than an actor <laughs> but it's 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 uh, so i have something called adhd i was diagnosed oh. with it as a kid uh, and just my my attention shifts but uh, the thing is my ambition is so much that i'm able to grip my attention only for the purpose that will forward my team's careers i think cheated on you're a cheater <laughs> that's what it is honestly but lot to explore in your own mind let's end it there let's end ananya pandey namaste namaskar namaste. thank you for being thank on you. the runway show thank you thank you love it <laughs>